Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video we have some new battles okay using a newly buffed Pokemon this Pokemon is supposed to be meta in the Ultra League and in the Great League not quite there but he might be there because there are some interesting matchup as an example it destroys Feraligator the most common Pokemon everywhere it destroys all these normal Pokemons with the rollout Dunspot Licky Licky the Pokemon I'm talking about is Shadow Machamp. The thing about Shadow Machamp is that it's uh, it needs to be double legacy move. You need Karate Chop because counter is nerfed. It's not as good. Karate Chop is actually an insane fast move right now. And Stone Edge. But for Stone Edge, technically, you might not need it. Because yesterday, I went live. I wanted to try double legacy. And then chat said like, yeah, I said, can you try it with Rock Slide first so we can measure if we need a Stone Edge or we don't, okay? Uh, and I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. And let's see how good Rock Slide on Machamp, whether we need Stone Edge or not. We're pairing it up with a Pokemon that gets also two huge buffs, Shadow Marowak. Shadow Marowak is one of my favorite Pokemons to use it because it's simply the coolest Pokemon. It has Fire Spin, which got recently buffed. Now it does more damage and it has Bone Club, which get a huge buff it used to be it, it used to do 40 damage now it does 55 technically buffed by 50 percent more damage we're pairing it up with gudra uh, to bait out the charmers and just as a generalist pokemon in this video we will feature two shadow machamp teams and you will choose which one you prefer more let me know which one if you used either which one did you prefer more and which one you had more success with uh, without further ado, let's just go and watch these battles and we can judge. I believe we have 11 battles today. One battle extra because we're a bit late. So, battle number one, uh, we get, we're picking up a horrible lead. They have Gastrodon. So, they have Gastrodon. We instantly go to Gudra. Opponent is playing it a smart a chip, then swap out. And here comes the jump love. Uh, by the way, jump love Gastrodon is the most common core in the entire game. So I will be making a the uh, I will play it for the day. Uh, I think because it does need to be uh, featured because this Pokemon deserves some respect. This team deserves some respect, and it might be the new BBML. Uh, now what do we do? Well, we just simply just go Marowak and farm it all the way down. We don't shield because we don't need to. And we hope that they have Aerial Ace, not Acrobatic. They do have Aerial Ace, so it's not that threatening with energy. And now, we're still loaded on energy. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw my charge move first, and then go to Machamp. They did not shield, and we got the defense to drop. They get to the move of the last second, and we're fine with that, because we can just shield. And it turns out they do have a rollout user. They have done spots, and this is where Machamp feasts. Look at, look at the Machamp. Look at the pacing. This Pokemon is getting a charge move every 4 seconds. Look at that. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have the move. I threw on 3 there. It's a technically alignment because they are supposed to throw on uh, there because technically they can't over farm, right? Because my charge move KOs and we don't, we don't care about timing at that point. You you look at this like, oh, Marowak lose to Claude Sire, right? But it's actually not bad because they run Poison Sting and Poison Sting is resisted by Marowak because it's uh, part Ghost. And look how much this does. It does lots of damage, like two KOs. So I'm like, I don't need to swap out. This is not even a bad matchup because I outpace. Why would I do that, right? So I'm going to save the AWAC in case they have something in the back. Which is usually I need to beat because uh, Cloud Side is supposed to have uh, anti-gator teams. So I'm expecting like a gator at least. So... Sorry, a jump bluff. Anti-gator, so they need a jump bluff. So I need to save the air, the, the, the air whack for the gator. Uh is just so annoying to look at. I was lucky to be able to KO it there. They brought in the uh, <coughs> the Claude Sire. Now we can over farm a bit since they went for the EQ. And this is the matchup I'm talking about. So I am at three. I can throw back to back, but I want I want to show you how much damage it does. And look at that. I win CMP. It does lots of damage and i can just simply win now they have to throw because they can't beat this uh, shadow shadow Marowak is just an insane pokemon okay let's move to the next battle we're picking up an amazing lead this is where they usually swap to some oh my they swap to a fairy they don't have Marowak's answer love to see it so how do i play this don't shield anything you resist everything from uh, uh from uh, that thing from cliffable and then we farm all the way down. If they bring in uh, whatever, I'm just going to go to Gudra. 
Unless it's jump bluff. Yeah, so we just go to Gudra. It might be better to slow a charge move, but I honestly save the charge move because I want to have uh, energy against the jump bluff later in the game. Uh, uh, Fairy Wind looks annoying, but that was actually good timing. This is actually good timing. This is not bad timing. Because, like, the fast move has, like, some weird visual animation. So what do we do now? Well, technically, we don't need to shield this, right? Right? Rise? Rise to occasion? No. We, right. <laughs> uh, so we don't need to shield this. And we can just simply farm down. And they swapped out, okay? This is not as bad. This is not even bad. Because look look at the poison, poison damage not doing anything. I still get to two moves, technically. And they only have one shield. So I'm, I'm going to put them at a very low health. Yeah, I was able to pick up this. I don't need AWAC anymore. I can simply swap now to Machamp. So here is the thing. I They don't have the AQ yet. I don't die to the other move. And they have a move in the back. So I'm just going to blindly throw it. Because I'm expecting them to try to swap and snipe me. But hey, I'm aware of that. So I'm not going to let that happen. Hey, my viewers are watching. It's like, oh... Opponent sacked on the acid? No, they didn't get. They didn't even have a chance. We didn't throw because we were anticipating the catch. Okay, moving into the next one. Jump Luff, amazingly, they swap into Meruak. So, in this matchup, this matchup, Meruak can win the two shield. You just double shield with like 90% health. So, I don't know why I swapped there, but I wanted to save the AWAC because I can simply shield here and farm them all the way down. And I should have still have my Meruak almost full HP for the Jump Bluff. Because the Jump Bluff is actually very threatening. Uh, yeah, we're going straight for the Thunder Punches. I'm actually considering Draco on my Gudra. Because nobody respects shielding from Gudra. Uh, this might be acrobatic. I don't care. You can have whatever you want. Now they, this is where they swap and they have Azu. Which we realized that this team is actually weak to Azu. I was trying to make a team that beats uh, Ferrari Gator. And we forget that Azu does exist. So I need to bait now. And this is actually where you do need the Stone Edge. Two Stone Edges KO the Azu with the, count, with the Karate Chop damage. But now we're just going straight. Uh, karate Chop. And I think they almost have the move. Yeah, they have the move. Maybe if I code there, but they still have a shield. There is no way I can farm Azu down. So this team is technically weak to Azu, but we destroy Gator. Okay, this team is built to destroy Gator in the back. Because nobody leads Gator, right? So in this matchup, I tried to safe swap Machamp to see how good Machamp of a, ch uh, 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 of a Pokemon in the safe swap. They brought in Mandibuzz. Is Mandibuzz a counter? Okay, I'm going to no shield, okay? Just to give you like a... A hint of like, okay, look how much it does. But remember that they have Snarl, and Snarl is resisted by Farted, so I can still get to another charge move. So I'm going to instead throw the next charge move. And look at this. We won the 0-1. That's insane. That is actually insane. Okay, we can just go Gudra now. And if they go for the Earth Power, they might win the game, so I need to shield the potential Earth Power. Uh, I throw on good... I think this is a CMP. Because technically they are trying to throw before the swapping. I don't need to shield. I We all know that this is a body slam. They swap into a gator. All I need to do is just to throw the thunder punch. If they shield, I need to swap and shadow bone it. If they no shield, I have to stay in and force them to throw. As you can see, they did throw. They don't get to a second move, right? So you can just fire spin down and then fire spin everything down. Shadow Meruak taking the win. Home, let's go. Shadow Meruak does not fear those Gastrodons or the Feraligators. It can literally farm them all the way down. Okay, is this where we switch to another team? Okay, now we switch to another team. So let me let me fix the layout so my editor doesn't uh, tell me to do it better. So yeah, be right back. Let me fix it and we will start the video again. Okay, so now we have the second team, which is Talonflame, Incinerate, Flame Charge, Fly. Okay, Fly. We don't have Ray Bird. We have Venusaur, because we saw that this team is kind of weak to Azu. Talonflame isn't bad into Azu. It's playable if they don't have Hydro Pump. So it's like, oh, yeah, I should say Talonflame is not bad into Azu. Like, it's not a horrible matchup. It's not the end of the world. Like, uh, it's not a situation where you have uh, Azu into, uh, into, like, a Machamp. That's a tough matchup a bit. Because I, if they don't have Hydro, it's playable, technically. 
If it's in the lead, we stay in, okay? If as in the back, we have Venusaur as a hard answer to the Azu. So why did we change the team? We changed the team because we noticed that it's a bit weak to Azu. And I noticed that uh, Talonflame does beat Gastrodon. So technically, this team has a three counters to Gastrodon. Machamp does beat Gastrodon. So here, game number one, we saw a Claude Sire. I'm like, let's just swap out to Venusaur. Because Claude Sire teams in general are weak to grass. Because their grass answer is Claude Sire. I'm not going to shield here. They swap into a Guzzlord and we throw the Sludge. Yeah, so they just said they are weak to Venus. I, I said technically. <laughs> that wasn't the technically. So now what's the play? Uh, well, we shield and farm all the way down. We don't throw anything. I am sure they have the, the, the breaking swipe, but it doesn't do damage. And look at that. They are so weak to Machamp, okay? They just realized they can't beat it. Next game, Talonflame into Berserker. They swapped into uh, to Prime Ape. Point still stuck in last season. I think uh, Prime Ape learns Karate Chop, so technically it's not as bad. I think that's a Karate Chop, though. So, uh, we just go straight uh, Flame Charge because we want to boost the fast move as much as we can. I'm actually going to double shield here because I want to see... I want to see this Talon Flame taking the ward down, okay? S setting everything on fire. Let's see what they bring. Because if that's their answer, they don't have an answer, right? They bring in Medicham. No, that's a Gallade. I'm not going to shield. This is a Leaf Blade, right? So we just go straight. Uh, flame Charge. Because I want to boost my incinerates. Oh my, they did not shield. And they bring the third Pokemon. Talon Flame won between an entire team of points. So the Machamp's like, okay, there is no way we win this game. I mean, I could beat win that game with, with double charm at that point. Uh, so they have a Seeking, a Seeking. So Seeking has Poison Jab, right? Poison Jab, Drill Run, and Icy Wind. And to be honest, it's kind of a code breaker to the team, but a Seeking doesn't have the best stats in the world. Opponent didn't even throw. I have no idea why, but I will take it, okay? So Venusaur into uh, the, uh, Mandibuzz is a technically a bad matchup. Yes, like Sludge Bomb add, add up, but they can live with the leave with lots of energy which is which is a horrible situation so what i'm gonna do now they have that if they have dark pulse i am not in a good situation so what we do is we do, we're just going to go straight to them charge and try to throw uh before they get to the third move so i technically need to shield this so i can do one then throw at this point so one ko'd i don't need to throw and we see that they have a done spots i think they lost a fast move so I'm just going to go straight fly at this point. Once we land the fly, we can just swap out. I think we landed the fly there. Now we can just swap out. And remember that they have something that we swapped out from, right? The Seeking. I think this does KO. So this technically, they just sacked the Pokemon with lo loads of energy. I think they, they just lost the game because of that. And that was a good game. Moving into the next one. Let's see what they have. Uh, this is technically Toxapix is a... Is a tough matchup for the Talon Flame. It's a, it's a close matchup. It's actually not bad. If you flame charge, you get to two flies in the one. You flame charge double fly. But hey, I'm just gonna go to Venusaur. And poison teams in general don't have Venusaur answers. Because their Venusaur answer is technically the, the poison, right? So opponent is still in here. I can outpace, I can throw a third frenzy before they get to the second floor sludge. And look at that. They don't even have an answer. I all, if I can get to this uh, move, I should be in a good situation. We did get to it. I'm actually going to swap out into Talonflame because I know that I live a move from the Diggersby. And I should have another move ready for the Feraligator and should have a healthy Machamp for their Feraligator. Opponent realized that this game is not winnable at this point and there is no way they can win. So they left the game. Uh, this is an interesting matchup. I think I, I played poorly here. Uh, Shadow Punch does a lot, so I'm supposed to shield here. I don't know why I didn't shield. I was like, they have Shadow Punch. Shadow Punch is a bad matchup. So, uh, it's not as good, right? Uh, they swapped into Dunsparce, so they are literally trying to bait out my fighter. I should be going to Venusaur just for that reason. So, I'm going through on good uh, timing here. Yeah, I should be going to Venusaur, by the way, because there is no... Like, whatever they have in the back is, is weak to Machamp. Like, just as simple as that. Uh, I mean, if I can get to my, th to get to both shields, I should be fine. I think I should be swapping out to Talonflame. I think I made a mistake here. 
Yeah, I should be going to Talonflame just in case they have that. See, guys? Just in case they have that. And they did have uh, something that hard beat Venusaur. So if we swapped Venusaur, we simply just win the game. So that was a mistake on my end. Opponent actually played it smartly by swapping, by baiting out my Machamp with the Dunsparts. So if you see the opponent swapping out Dunsparts, because, because Dunsparts doesn't beat Venusaur. Uh, I needed here to KO with uh, one incinerate. They had the non-shadow, so they lived that. So if they have a shadow, we win that. Okay, moving to the next game. Venusaur. It's a good matchup. They swapped into Umbreon. So I went to Machamp. I know that I live a Psychic, so I don't need to shield the first. I'm going to do a and throw. Uh, this does a lot. It doesn't KO though. So, you know what? Let's shield and farm all the way down. Because this is where like Machamp's strength come from. Uh, having loads of energy and the energy does lots of damage because Machamp just has sky high attack so the shadow doesn't make it even even better so what's the play now well let's just keep rock sliding uh, as far as oh my we get deleted by a hypno uh, what do we do well we, we're just going to throw flame charge here and there and I don't technically have an answer I think this is a GG basically I should be swapping to Venusaur once I get to the move. I tried throwing good timing, I think, and I I fumbled the game. So yeah, this game is totally on my end. Uh, I think opponent here were trying to catch, and they gave me enough energy for two charge moves. So we're going to throw two back to back. So I think the opponent made a mistake here, unless they had the charge move and then they lagged for the turn. That's another, another situation, but I think they did a fast move, which means they didn't have the charge move. Okay. Moving into the next one. I think this is the last one. Yeah, that was the last one. That was a fourth one. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click all the buttons down below. Ring all the bells. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, night, or whatever you're having. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.